Good evening, everybody. Hi, people. Are you there? Now, okay, Carla, so we're going to continue as a listener. That's okay. So how's everything, everybody? Uh, I don't know if you're just getting connected. I don't know if you're really there. But, you know, like, it's time just to start with uh, what we are going to be discussing, you know, for the rest of the class. Um. All right, just let's start. Okay, yes, uh, you know, like as always, we're gonna start with with the attendance list, just to start over with with the class time. Uh, Gabriel Esau. Gabriel. Okay, he's not there. Guadalupe Noemi. Okay, it's not there. It is Cecilia. Okay, we are assessing Jorge Ismael. Uh, Jorge. All right, Jorge there. Jose Moises. Okay, no here, Judith Maribel. Good evening, present. Okay, good evening. Carla Ivania. Uh, let me see. Okay, Catherine. Uh, Ivania, are you there? Okay. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Okay. Good. Present teacher. Okay. Nice. Let's move Catherine Guadalupe. I just says that she's. Okay. Uh, Kevin Ramiro. Present teacher. Okay, good. Maria Elena. Maria Elena. Mm, okay, she's not here. Marilyn Alejandra. <clears throat> mm, okay, she's not here. Maria Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, good. Monica Maricela. Monica Maricela. Okay, I guess she's not here. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Okay, good. Patricia Guadalupe. Ah, okay, nice. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Okay, good. Ros Guadalupe. 
Okay, she's not here. Santos Cristina. Okay, not even Cristina over here. And the last one we got Jocelyn Stephanie. Present teacher. Oh, okay, good. No, okay, just let me see. Let me see, check some. Ah, okay, good. Uh, do everybody people uh, are mostly working right now? En realidad, será que casi todos están trabajando o todavía van de camino a sus, a sus casas? Oh, oh what people? Please let me know because, I mean, in that way, I can include you in the participations and everything. Okay, remember that, I mean, it's, it's part of your process, part of your obligation, you know, used to participate in everything. So I would like a very active participation for everybody. All right, and if you're really working or doing something else, just, you know, like, let me, just let me know, okay? Let me know. All right, so we're going to start with a short uh, feedback. Hi, Marilyn. Hola. Hi. Solo voy a estar escuchando porque casi no puedo hablar. Y si me pongo a hablar mucho, voy a quedar más afónica de lo que ya estoy. Ouch, Marilyn. Ya, yeah, si sí, estoy bien mal en la garganta. Ah, ok, no, no problem, stay as a, as a listener, ok? Fíjense como, como oyen okay. que nada más, no se preocupe. Ya, yeah, I mean, that's, okay. that's, I mean, and, and, and that happened, and, and then that started to you yesterday, Marilyn? Le comenzó ayer, supongo, porque antier no estaba así, o sí. Yes, lo que sucede es que ayer, este, bueno, como era sueto, pero igual me tocó trabajar, ¿verdad? La cosa es que estábamos arreglando archivos. Yo soy alérgica, demasiado alérgica al polvo. Entonces, me puse afónica, no muy afónica, pero ahora sí amanecí que casi ya, ya no podía hablar. Ah, oh, por Dios. Ah, I can't tell. All right, so. So that's why you're like that. Jesus Christ. That must Ah, will be so difficult, but no problem. Okay, it's understandable, okay? Okay, okay. All right, good. So we are going to start then right after that. Ah, Jesus, that was so, so difficult for her. Ah, but anyways, people, ah, let's just start you know, with the things that we got for, for today. And as I said, what we're going to start is just a short feedback. Okay, bringing up the topic that we have been discussing, you know, like the day before yesterday, because it was like a kind of cool topic. And I guess you got a lot of retention for that topic. We easily understood how to apply them and everything. So I would like to know people, what do you remember from last, from last, from last class, from last topic? I want you to mention, you know, like the name of it. And you know, like, what was the function of it? Do you guys remember what was the topic we were talking about? Uh -huh, for the ones who are not working and for the ones who are not sick, can you tell me, people, what were we talking about last class? Del uso de have to, has to. Ah, okay. And uh -huh. Don't, does, doesn't have to. Okay, yeah, I mean, don't have to and doesn't have to, right? Okay, good. So we were practicing just about that thing. Good. When do we use have to? Or what do we use have to for? Oh. 
Eh, utilizamos have to cuando eh, es una obligación. Uh -huh. Cuando hacemos una oración con, que denota obligación. Ah, ok. Good, good. Y cuando usamos don't o doesn't have to, uh -huh. es para cuando no es obligatorio. Me acuerdo yo que así dijo. Okay, when it is not an, a, a, a merely an obligation. Okay, thank you, Guadalupe. That was a really good. Uh -huh. You have that thing? Thank you, thank you. Good. So as, as she was saying, we just got, all right, the main structure that we were working last class, it was have to and has to. If you remember, have to is mostly applied for first person and plurals, okay? And has to is mainly applied for he, she, it, and singular nouns, right? Or basically third person singular. Good. And as she was saying, basically we use have to to show or denotate obligation, okay? When you are obligated to do something, right? It can be an activity or it can be any work that specifically at your work in your house or whatever you are in, okay? But it, it, it denotates obligation, right? On the other hand, don't have to or doesn't have to, that represents something that is mostly a choice for you. In that case, you are not obligated, okay, to do an activity, just to put it like that way. Good. Uh, let me see. For the ones, okay, uh, that was that was Guadalupe's well, participation. Now, for the ones who were with me also in that class, can you give me one example about a positive statement using have to? Ahora bien, para recordar un poco, ¿podrían darme un ejemplo de cómo usar esa estructura? Mm -hmm. Can somebody give me one example? Any volunteer for the one who were in the last class? What's your teacher? Uh, Good evening, Mr. Uh -huh. Un ejemplo de usar el has to. Or have to. Uh -huh. You sí. can use it as has to or have to. Ah, on yo entendí que ajá, el has to lo debemos de usar en he, she, it y cuando es en singular, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y está viendo las anotaciones que usted creo que dio un ejemplo de he has to wear uniform. Ajá. Eh, es como una obligación de usar el uniforme, digamos, en nuestro trabajo. Ajá. Esa es una obligación que, aunque nosotros no querramos, debemos de acatar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay. Entonces ahí sí usamos el has to wear. Have to wear. Okay. Solamente. Good, good. Uh -huh. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar. Nice. Okay. Good. All right. Apply them to the to the daily life, people. Let's see. I'm gonna check out who's who's not in, in, in here. Give me a second. Okay, para los que me han mandado mensajes, all right, it's understandable. I know that some of you are working, some of you are, you know, still doing some 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 part of your job. Okay, so no problem in that case. Jocelyn, are you there? Yes, teacher. Good, Jocelyn. In your house, Jocelyn. What are what? Can you mention at least one obligation that you got to do? Uh, I have 
I have to mm -hmm. clean in my house. I have to clean my house. Okay, is that an obligation for you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. Let me see. <laughs> I'm oh, mentioning another person, even though this person was not in class, specifically that one. Uh, Judith, can you mention one obligation that you got in the workplace, for example? And what place? In your workplace, in your job. Oh, I, I have to work eight hours a day i have to work eight hours a day okay good good that was a cool example let me see another participation before moving on roberto roberto was not in class last class i guess so roberto give me one obligation that you got it can be in your workplace or in your house in my workplace aha uh -huh. okay i have to Clean the back room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. You get to clean the bathroom. Okay, so that <laughs> that that becomes in an obligation for you, right? Yeah, yeah. Obligation, no obligation. Now, okay, good. Acceptable. There you go. Nice, nice, good. So remember, that was like the main topic that we were discussing. Okay, the last class. Then, all right. Remember. We were basically discussing about the uses of have to, in which that structure shows obligation, okay? It shows obligation. And when you put it in negative, uh, it, it shows mostly an option. Not an obligation, but an option that you might have. All right, so I'm gonna show you the presentation about the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight okay all right so this is okay what we are going to be you know like discussing tonight okay so it's just going to be pen for informal that's enough for informal okay or information in this case for information and possibility in this case we're going to use two different points of view of ken Okay, we are not going to be doing positive statements because can it has a variety of functions. In this case, we are just going to see two of them. It's going to be that can can be used for information, to ask for information, and the second one to ask for a possibility about something. Okay, so that's going to be the, the, the whole class focused about. Now Let's start over. Okay, well, what's the most relevant? Okay, that we got, you know, for the rest of the class. All right, so we got the feedback from the previous class. It's something that we just did. Okay. Uh, then we're going to be working in some things in the manual, but I think this part we are going to do it at the end, all right? We're gonna leave it at the end. And then we are going to introduce can for information and possibility, okay? So that's the way how we're gonna be doing this part. And at the end, as I said, we're gonna be working in the manual specifically in, uh, okay, um, how can I say this? In uh, how to ask information questions and how to ask just no questions that in this case is going to be as part of the possibility good 
And as I said, we're going to be working in some exercises in the MATLAB. Let's start over. Ken, good. If you remember, in the past, we have been discussing about this structure. ¿Qué me pueden decir de este, de este verbo? Si recuerdan, pues ya hemos visto parte de, este, de esta estructura en módulos anteriores. What do you remember from that? What is can use for? Do you guys remember? Como tarde. Poder. Poder. O oh, posibilidad. <laughs> Puede, teacher. Ajá, ajá. But that, that's the translation, I know. Ajá. That's the translation. Pero en qué situaciones lo usábamos? Can you, es, es como solicitar algo. Can you help? Uh, yeah, I mean in a somehow. Okay, good. <laughs> Something uh -huh. else? Me acuerdo un poco. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> nice. Thank you, man. Teacher, yes? Teacher, me, me anotó en la lista. Pasó la lista. Yes, pero no se había conectado todavía, Cristina. Ya estaba conectada, pero el micrófono me, no me servía, lo estaba cambiando. Ok, no problem. Lo voy a hacer cuando, okay. cuando pasemos la segunda, ok? Ok, gracias. All right, good. Ok, what else do you remember about this, this, this verb? Algo más que recordemos de este verbo. No, people? Okay, just let me refresh your minds, people. Este es parte de los verbos modales que se estuvieron viendo en el módulo pasado. Okay. Si recuerdan el uso de should, will, could, may, might. All right. And, and we also were discussing the uses of ought to, have to. I remember. Part of those ones, right? So, can is another modal verb, all right? Can, lo vamos a ver nada más en dos formas esta vez. And just no questions and information questions, okay? Porque en oraciones positivas, can denota otro tipo de eh, definición. Like, to put it away. Why? Porque si yo digo, I can speak English. ¿Qué estoy denotando en este caso? What am I, uh, what am I doing in that case, people? If I say I can speak English, what am I doing? Yo, yo puedo, no. Yes, I mean, if you translate it into Spanish, yes, I mean, I mean yo puedo hablar inglés. I can speak English. Pero en realidad, a, a, si nos vamos un término un tanto más general, ¿Cómo le llamamos a eso? El decir, yo puedo hacer esto. Una habilidad. Como una habilidad. Habilidad o posibilidad. Exactly, exactly, people. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, in that case, what you're doing is denotating or showing ability. Ok, entonces, can en, listen up, en presente simple. Listen. En presente simple, informative, I mean, in positive statements, denotamos habilidades, all right? We show abilities. If you say, I can speak English, I can, uh, what? Cook, right? Uh, everything that involves an ability, you just can, all right? But in this case, we're going to see it in a very different point of view, okay? Good. So in this case, we're gonna see Ken like this. Cristina, help me a reading, please. Hello, teacher. Hi. We, we house Ken to us. We use for, Ken. Uh -huh. We use Ken to have to us for information. Espérenme que tengo tapadita la pantalla con su foto ahí. 
to ask for information or express possibility about submit, submitting something. Something, uh -huh. something. What's something? Se la vuelvo a leer. Se la vuelvo a leer. Le dio risa. No, es que la tenía es que, toda la pantalla. Ya, yeah, miren, es que fue gracioso ahí. como dijo. Yo le estaba tapando la información. That was funny. Dice, okay. no era la foto, era este. <laughs> But we asked, se la voy a leer otra vez porque es que. Ok, 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 asked, no problem. We, we asked or we use. We use. We use. We use. We use. We use can to ask for information or express possibility possibility eh, verdad possibility, possibility, uh -huh. possibility about something ah okay there you go thank you Cristina okay. gracias thank you good good so as you said listen we use can to ask for information or to express possibility about something all right so in that case it's like using uh, can in two different options to ask for information. Generally, when you ask for information is when you use the WH words in questions. Remember that the WH words are like what, what time, where, when, who, okay, why, all of those ones. And uh, when we express possibility about something, it's like when you ask just yes, no questions. You wanna see that, you know, like each other in a, in a couple of examples. Check this out. Uh, Mario, let me read in this one. Can, can you make a phone, a phone call? A phone call, all right. Good, can you make a phone call? Uh, let me see. Jocelyn? Yes, I can. I can make a phone call. Right, I can make a phone call. There you go. Thank you. So in this case, we're gonna answer this type to this type of questions. Actually, this is a just no question, okay? But we're gonna do it this way to practice the structure, okay? If you see, it says, Ah, can you make a phone call? Yes, I can. I can make a phone call, right? I mean, si, si puede. Puedo hacer una llamada, right? That's what it says in there. Good, give me one second. All right, let's move. Check this out. This is a negative answer to that question. All right. Uh, Guadalupe, help me reading that one. No. I can't, I can't. Yes. No, I can't, I can make a phone call. Okay, there you go, thank you. So in that case, what are we expressing in this case? In here, we are expressing a possibility about something. Why a possibility? Because if I say, I mean, can I make a, can you make a phone call? What is it on a llamada? ¿Qué estamos expresando ahí? No estamos pidiendo información. Más bien estamos expresando una posibilidad de algo. All right? So in that case, remember, when you work with just no questions using can, you are basically expressing possibility about something. All right? This is the way. Cool. Let's continue. Let's take a look at the yes, no question structures, all right? Just for you to refresh your mind about this. All right, check this out. Roberto, let me read in this. Can plus subject plus main verb plus complement plus, what do you say design? Ah, question mark. Question mark. Ah, okay, there you go. Thank you, Roberto. So in that case, in here, it's a stated, you know, one question, okay, that is called like just no question. Check that out. Uh, uh, let me see. 
Thus, gonna be at living hill. How are you? Hear me out, reading, please. Can you store the boxes in the warehouse? All right. Can you store the boxes in the warehouse? Okay. Good. Check this out, the possible answers. Oscar. Okay, ahorita. Yes, I can. I can store the box in the warehouse. All right. Yes, I can. It says I can store uh -huh, the boxes in the warehouse. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let me see another one. Ooh, is this person working? Give me one second. Okay, cool. Maria Elena, are you there? Yes, teacher. Um, can she say, save the information in the computer? Okay, thank you. Say that out. I mean, can she save the information in the computer? Good. The answer to this question. Let me see. Kevin, you may answer. Present teacher. All right, you may answer to that question. Or uh, read the answer actually. No shed. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, no shed. She? Uh -huh. No she can. Can't. Uh -huh. She can. Seven things okay. for major in computing. All right. Thank you. Thank you, mister. All right. It says, no, she can't. She can't say the information in a computer. So in that case, what do we do? Listen, we generally duplicate the negatives. We basically, in that case, have two structures. What it says, no, she can't. That's one. And it says she can't say the information in the computer. So that's extra information as part of the answer, all right? So in that case, this is how we use can. Listen, this is how we use can to express a possibility about something, all right? Good. People, until here, do you have any question? Jorge? Can you store the boxes in the warehouse? Ajá, en la ajá. traducción, ¿qué es como el store? Me queda la duda que qué significa. Entiendo que es tienda, pero no lo asocio a la, a la pregunta. Eh, ¿Podría repetirme lo último del, de, de lo último, por favor? Es que si sí, se lo escucha bien cortado y empiezo a creer que es su audio. Ajá. Eh, la, la, la palabra store uh -huh. eh, no entiendo en la pregunta. Es eh, que entiendo que dice este, puedo es que el store me confunde porque se entra en la caja en la bodega, entiendo. Ah, ajá, ajá. Vaya, store, usted puede decir, ah, pero store significa tienda. ¿Qué es esa palabra? Ah. Ahí. All right. En este caso significa guardar. También. Ah, okay, ajá, eh. O almacenar. Ok. Sí. Exacto. Ah, perfecto. Thank you. Ok, there you go. Yeah, I mean, can you store the boxes in the warehouse? Ah, puedes almacenar las cajas en, la, en el almacén. That's literally the translation, ok. All right, there you go. Good. For the ones who are participating, ah, uh, yes, Judith. En las respuestas siempre debe ser una respuesta larga. En este Formal, caso la vamos a. En este, caso la vamos, en este caso la vamos a trabajar así, exactly. All right. Más que todo para poder practicar el uso de las formas largas. Si pudimos observar el módulo pasado, estuvimos más que todo con respuestas cortas. Right? Sí. Eh, ahora sí lo vamos a hacer un poquito más largo. Right? The idea for this is for you to practice different options, ¿ok? Pero ambas opciones son correctas. 
Yes. Y es formal both. también. Exactly. Both of them are correct. Okay. Both of them are correct. Mm -hmm. There you go. Good. Something else? Do you have any, any other question, people? ¿Alguna otra duda que tengamos? No? Okay, good. Because I am really interested in, in you know, like in, in, in you to participate because I am speaking too much and you are not speaking that much and you are like kind of a sleepy, all right? I see some faces like that. Uh, could you guys give me one example question, please? Quiero que me escriban nada más la pregunta, más no la respuesta, okay? Just a question. I'm gonna practice the question with, with, with what we have been discussing in that case. All right, it can be about anything, okay? Lo que me interesa es que usemos can en una pregunta, en una just no question. Okay, let's look at it. And let me know when you finish. Remember, just let me know when you finish, please. Just let me know when you finish. Well, all right, go on. Can you change the bottle of water? The bottle of water. The water, the water of water. Mm. Ah, okay, good. Can you change the bottle of water? Cool. Who finished? Who finished? Thank you, Mario. All right, Judith, read yours. Can you prepare the silence report? The sales report. Okay, very good. Thank you, Judith. Jocelyn? Can you tell me your phone number? Ah, okay, good. Can you tell me your phone number or can you give me your phone number? Good. Nice, thank you. Something else? Good, Roberto, let's go. Can you let me some sugar? Ah, okay, can you lend me some sugar? Nice, nice. Thank you, Roberto, okay. Somebody else? I need to, to listen more options in that case. Alguien más que ya haya terminado? All right, Gabriel. Hi, teacher. Eh, ¿Me escucha? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Can you take the bus? Can you? Can you take the bus? Ah, ah okay. Can you take the bus? There you go, that's a cool question. Thank you, Gabriel. Somebody else? I mean, I got different people. Let me see who else is missing. Teacher. Yes, yes Cristina. Uh, can you replace me? <clears throat> Oh, okay, okay. Can you replace me? <laughs> By replace me, you know what is that, right? Reemplazar. Nice, nice. 
Thank you, Christina. Somebody else, people? It's missing Jorge, it's missing Oscar, Maria Elena, let me see who else. Kevin, um, Monica, Guadalupe. Okay, Jorge, let's go. Can you tell me where you live? Can you tell me? Where you live? You mean where you live? Where you live? No, okay. Where okay. you live? All right, very good. Thank you, Jorge. Somebody Your else? Teacher, Oscar. Uh, all right, Oscar, let's go. Chill. Can you fix my cars? Mm, okay, good, good. Can you fix my car? Nice, that's a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Maria Elena? Are you there, Maria Elena? Hmm. Let me see. Who else is in here? Uh, Guadalupe. Eh, tengo una duda con respecto a el verbo bañar. Es shower. ¿O cómo es? The most common is take a shower. Porque había puesto, can you shower the dog? Pero no, creo que no está bien usada esa. No, es ok. Ajá, uh -huh. ah. por la edad. Ah, ok. Or can you bathe the dog? That's another one. Ok. Nice, nice. Thank you, miss. Thank you. Let me see. Monica, are you there, Monica, or are you working? Monica? All right, she didn't listen. Oh, she's working, maybe. Uh, I'm running out of options, man. Maria Elena? Hey, teacher? Uh, do you have your exam? Yes. I can fix a car. But in this case, it would be a question, Maria Elena. A question? Yes, yes. Can you, can you fix a car? Okay, there you go. Nice. Thank you. Very good. So those ones were the couple of examples that you gave me, and they were okay. Now, let's take a look at the WS words structures. And this is the structure that we generally deal with. All right. Judith, help me already. W is war. The structure, verdad? Yes. Okay. W is war plus can plus subject plus member plus mm -hmm. complement plus plus question. Mark, question mark. Okay. Okay. Question mark. Okay. okay, there you go. Thank you. So we got a series of examples in here. Take a look at them. Uh, Christina, help me read. Hello, teacher. Help me read the first question. Where, where can you meet the president? Okay, where can you meet the president? If you take a look in here, we don't have now a yes, no question. We have an information question, okay? Good. Aquí pues ya no tenemos una, pregu una pregunta en la que el modelo de respuesta es solo yes or no, all right? No, in here is a little bit different. A esto se le llama information question, okay? ¿Por qué se le llama information question? Porque aquí es donde solicitamos información. Ok. And here we are expressing extra information about something. 
So take a look at the example answer. Mario? I can meet the president in the meeting. Ah, uh, okay, very good. I can meet the president in the meeting. Very good. Let me see somebody else that can be helpful tonight. Hmm. Oscar, help me read the second question. Okay. A what time can she get, give me information about the uh, product? Uh, okay, good. What time it says can she give me information about the product? Perfect. Jocelyn? He can give you information about the product at 10 a.m. Ah, okay, very good. She can give you information it's about the product at 10 a.m. Very nice. So in that case, remember, what are we doing? We are just providing information questions. Good. No sé si le están tomando notas a las preguntas. Good people, just let me know when you finish, okay? Sí, sí teacher. Nice. Déjenme saber cuando terminen. Okay, perfect. Finish. Okay, very good. Hmm. All right, so I guess everybody has already finished. So let's move. We got some extra example questions over here. Check this out. Roberto, let me reading. When can we get the product? Okay, when can we get the product, Gabriel? We can get the product tomorrow. Ah, okay, very good. We can get the product, it says, tomorrow. Very nice. Cool, another one, let me see. Yeah, man, I got very few options. Okay, I got it here. Jose, are you there? Jose, yes. mister, are you there? Yes. Can you help me out reading the question? Okay. Um, extra examples when uh, this, the second uh, the, the question number two ah, okay we can get the product tomorrow ah okay very good uh, what time what time what time 
Ah, the question. Yes, second question. Okay. What time can we stack the product? Uh, okay, very good. What time can we stack the product, it says? What is the stack? A stack mean apilar or poner en orden. Okay, algo. Oh, okay. Good. All right, it says we can stack the product at 1 p.m., right? So we're asking about a specific time over there. Ahí pues ya estamos hablando de qué? De una hora en específico. Cool. We got another question warm. Let me see. Who can help me out with this one? All right, Oscar. Okay. Uh, we can stack the products at 1 p.m. Okay, continue with the question. Oh, can I stack the product with? Okay, thank you. Who can I stack okay. the product with? It says. Okay, take a look at the answer in this case. Uh, let me see, Guadalupe. You can stack the product with your coworker. Okay. 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 Yeah, coworker in that case. Good. What are the WH words that you generally use to ask this type of questions? Look, generalmente las, las, las WH words que podemos usar, recuerden, las que podemos usar es what, what time, where, when, which, who with, and why. All right. Estas son las, las, los inicios de pregunta más comunes en este tipo de information question, ok? Estas son las que comúnmente solemos utilizar para solicitar información. Good, I don't know if you're taking notes about this. Están tomando nota? Ah, okay, cool. Yeah. Take notes about it. And let me know when you finish. All right, good. So I guess you're done, people. There you go, I'm gonna erase this part. And I'm gonna put this thing over here. Cool. Podrían, por favor, aunque sea con un pulgarcito, si no quieren encender la cámara, los que, to los que están participando, podrían, por favor, poner un pulgar para saber quiénes son los que están activos, los que podemos participar, please. Good. Ah, so we got included, uh, let me see, Gabriel, Oscar, Jocelyn. All right. Nice. Maria Elena. Okay, perfect. Perfect. All right, it's a little bit more than a half. 
What are we going to do? Listen. Quiero que escojan a uno de sus compañeros. Listen. Escojan a uno de sus compañeros. No importa quién. Okay. It doesn't matter. Y quiero que me le formulen una pregunta. Ya sea cualquiera de las W's Word que están ahí pueden usar. O, bueno, las que, las que puse ahí pueden usar. Okay. Pero quiero que me lean una information question usando can. Okay. Good. So, let's go. When you finish, just let me know, ¿ok? Cuando termine, me lo haces saber. Y luego vamos a esperar a los demás para hacer una tipo de actividad con eso, ¿ok? Recuerden, los que están participando son José, Gabriel, let me see, Kevin, María Elena, Jocelyn, Oscar y Jorge. So in that case, let me see, los que están de oyentes serían Marilyn, Katherine, Carla Mendoza y Carla Ivania, and uh, let me see, Mónica, and Patricia. Okay, remember, you can ask if you have any question, okay? And just let me know when you finish. Just to start up the practice. Teacher. Yes. Eh, con, con el verbo can, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Correcto. Okay. ok. ¿Puedo iniciar? Eh, vamos a esperar un momento en este caso, ¿ok? Vamos okay. a esperar okay. a que todos estén porque va, va, va a ser pregunta y respuesta en tanto corrida, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Nice, nice. All right, the other one, just let me know when you finish, okay? Una pregunta, teacher, con el can you, era, vea. Eh, era... No, no, usando las WS words, what, what time, where, when, why. Como los ejemplos okay. que acabamos de ver. Those ones were applying the, the information questions, okay? Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm going to stop sharing these things for a while. Right, porque en lo que terminan voy a pasar asistencia. It's exactly nine. All right, let's say Gabriel Esau. Present. 
Okay. Guadalupe Noemi. Present. Okay, good. It is Cecilia. Just my name. Is Ma Jorge Ismael? Present. Okay, good. Jose Moises? Present. Okay, good. Judith Maribel? Judith? Ahora <laughs> listen to you, Judith. Hola. Ahora sí. Ok. Present. All right. <laughs> nice, nice. Carla Ivania. Right, she's in a way working. Carla Lorena. Present. Nice, Catherine Guadalupe. Okay, Kevin Ramiro. Kevin. Present. Ah, okay, you said. Maria Elena. Pre present teacher. Okay, good. Marilyn Alejandra. Present eh, teacher. Ah, Me okay. voy a desconectar porque ya no aguanto la gripe. Eh, lo siento. Okay. Ok, Marilyn, espero que sí se mejore porque esa gripe sí la atacó con todo. Ay, sí. Ok, buenas noches. All right, good night. Ok, let me see, Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Mónica Maricela. Hmm. Oscar Armando. Presente, Cher. Ok. Good. Patricia Guadalupe. Nice. Roberto Emilio. Presente, Cher. Ok. Good. Ros Guadalupe. No, she's not going to show up. Santos Cristina. Presente, Cher. Okay, and we got the last one, Jocelyn Stephan. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, cool. Give me one second, what is this? Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the person who finished first, Gabriel. You there, Gabriel? Good, Gabriel. ¿Escogió una persona para poderle hacer esa pregunta? Sí. Ok. Go straight to that person. Ok, Cristina. Hello. Hello, Gabriel. Hola. Hola. The question is, can you give me the time, please? Uh, but it's missing the W's work, Gabriel. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, pues la va a volver a formular, Ticho. Ajá, okay. Va, te lo vuelvo a preguntar después. Ah, Cristina. Salvada por la campana. Yes, man, salvada, <laughs> Cristina. La voy a tener en reserva, Cristina, para cuando yo le pregunte, usted va a responder y va a volver a preguntar. Ah, okay. Roberto. Who's your question for? for? 
Ah, de ti, María, de Doping, güey, a Pati. Vos, Pati, 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 Pati. <ríe> The question is, when can I see you again? <ríe> And Pat, Pati told me, I mean, I'm working. <ríe> never, no, uh -huh. never, never. You don't have the answer, Patty? Um, no, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Patricia is not available. Okay, Patricia. Yeah, I mean, she's working right now. <laughs> so that's why she, she, she has got distracted. Okay. You got, listen. You got Guadalupe. You got Judy. You got uh, Mario. Jose. Gabriel. You got Kevin, Maria Elena, Jocelyn, Oscar, and Jorge. Roberto? Ask your question again, Roberto. No se la Otra contestaron. Vez. No se la contestaron, Roberto. Quiero ver a quién le vamos a decir. Ya le mencioné las que tenemos disponibles. Bueno, a, a Gabriel. Ok. Tú, Gabriel. All right. Ok. <laughs> When can I see you again? Gabriel, please. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> When can I see you again? Tomorrow, me va a decir. Do you understand the question, mister? When I'll can I sure. see you again? ¿Cuándo nos vamos a volver a ver? Nadie quiere. ¿Cuándo te, Nadie cuándo, quiere te puedo, ¿Cuándo te puedo volver a ver? I'm sorry, never. <risa> Ojalá me pida un favor mañana porque ya. <risa> men, Roberto. No very wants you, men. No very wants to see you again. All right. Good. Gabriel, you got the question? Ya casi, teacher. Es que estaban viendo unos correos. Ok. Judith. Read your question, Judith. Roberto. Mejor a Judith le hubiera preguntado. <risa> yo, yo sí le voy a preguntar. Pregunta. <risa> <risa> what? Ok. What time can you do homework three? Okay. Three. Three. Yes. La tarea tres. What time? What time? Can Please. you? Uh -huh. Can you do homework three? Me confunde en la última. Oh my God! Repeat one more time. What time can you do hunger three? Hunger three. Mm -hmm. Hunger number three. Number three. Uh -huh. ¿Y cuándo voy a hacer la tarea tres? ¿A qué What hora? What time? Yes. <laughs> ah, tomorrow. <laughs> Ajá, bueno, la forma de answer, ¿cómo sería? Eh... I can, I can, I can, ¿qué me dijo? Hunger, 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 Do. number three. I, I can, Do. I can, hunger, I number can three, hunger. tomorrow. I can do hunger, number three, tomorrow. Three, tomorrow, okay. There you go, okay, good, good. Let me see. Well, 
Guadalupe, you got your question, Guadalupe. Who do you want to ask your question to? Um, Cristina Cerritos. Okay. Hello. What, what time can you study with me? ¿Qué tiempo es la historia de quién? What, what time can you study, study with me? Study de estudiar, Cristina. Study. Um, ¿Qué he estudiado yo? No, no. ¿en qué? <risa> what time, ¿Qué Cristina? ¿Qué horas? ¿Qué tiempo? ¿Qué hora? Um, eight, ten. Eight, ten. De ocho a diez. Ah. Ok. Pero ¿y la respuesta es completa, ¿cómo sería? No sé, teacher, help. Necesito ayuda. I can study with you at 10. I o, can. O 8 p.m., ok. I can está 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 o sea study ajá with you with at you at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Thank you teacher. Ah, okay, very good. There you go. Let me see Jocelyn, read your question. Yes, teacher. Guadalupe. Okay, to Guadalupe. All right. <laughs> okay. When can we eat pizza? When can we eat pizza? I can eat pizza the Saturday. Repeat again. Uh, I can eat pizza. Uh, the Saturday, the Sabbath. Okay, or on Saturday, it will be good. Okay, oh, very good. Saturday. Nice, nice. Thank you. Jorge, read your question. Uh, I'll repeat again, mister. Oscar, 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 De casualidad, ¿usted no tiene audífonos en, 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 en su dispositivo? No, teacher. No, no sé si la señal fue bastante eh, no, no fíjese, fíjese que aquí ya no, ya creo que ya no sería problema de la señal, porque es que es claramente como una pequeña, o sea, como algo malo en el, en el micrófono, más que todo. Eh, solamente en la opción del micrófono me sale speakerphone, que hace Airpice. Y he seleccionado el micrófono igual que el sistema. Acabo de elegir el humano. Tengo opciones de mí. Ay, esto sí está, está, está bien extraño. Este. A ver, a ver, a ver. No, pero es que sí está configurado como debe ser. Tengo una, tengo una opción en el tabú que dice dejar audio de la computadora. No, pero ese de dejar el audio ya no, no, porque automáticamente ya no, no escucharía nada de lo que se está diciendo acá en la clase ni podría participar. Ah, right, so that place is weird, it's weird. All right, but let's, let's do something, porque sí, se le escucha bien, 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 bien cortado. Eh, escriba la pregunta que hizo al chat, please. Y aquí le vamos a leer, ¿ok? All right, good. Uh, 
Judith, one question. Ya la realicé, no, a Roberto. No, no. One, I said one question, Judith. Relax. Is it raining by the place where you live? Está lloviendo por donde, por ahí. Oh yes. Ay, es que acá comenzó a llover ya horrible. <laughs> Igual aquí, pero desde ya hace media hora. Ah, aquí va comenzando. Ah, Ay, va llegando. Exactly, <laughs> viene llegando. Okay, good. Uh, let me see. Oscar, read yours, Mister. Hola, uh, sí, aquí estoy, chiche. Hola, hola, sí. Poco se escucha. Yo lo escucho bien. Yes, yes, Oscar. Let's go. Ah, ok. Debo de seleccionar un colega o, o debo, o repito mi, mi pregunta. Yes, yes. And you can choose one, one of your questions. Ah, pues, bueno, yo hice una pregunta. Sí, vea. Who can help me in my homework? ¿Podrías ayudarme en mi tarea? Uh, solo que no me lo incluyó la, la, ninguna de las dos words como where, when, why. Solamente usé el who. Ajá, entonces está incompleto. Ah, ah, ok. La voy a... Modificar entonces, teacher. No, en la que si ya no es software, en la su Ah, oh, chévere. Se me escucha también lejos. Ah, no, es que estoy así porque el del problemita ahora soy yo. <risa> la lámina no me deja escuchar ah. muy bien. <risa> Comprendo, sí, ya. <risa> ya, veréis. Ah, pues. La cosa es que está lloviendo súper fuerte acá, por eso es, ¿ok? Sí, no se escucha mucho. Ah, ok, ok. Ah, pues esa es mi pregunta. That's your question, right? Ok, Let's, we're going to leave it like that because, I mean, uh, uh, we need to move on. Ok, thank you, Scott, for your question. Uh, let me see, María Elena, what, what is your question? Can you please read it? Yes, teacher. Um, my question is for, for Jocelyn. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. What language can you speak? Good, good question. Sorry, repeat, please. What language can you speak? Aha, uh -huh. what I language can, can you speak? I can speak Spanish. <laughs> and English. And English. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. Thank you, Jocelyn. Let me see. Well, well. Gabriel, do you have yours? Yes, teacher. Read it. When do you send me the email? When do you when can you send me? When do you? When can you send you? Ah, okay. Send me the email. Exactly. Okay, Nicole. Thank you. Cristina, read oh. your. Hello, teacher. Dame la silla. Um, I have to do, to do my income tax report. O soy yo o no la escuché. Creo que, que es el, creo que es el micrófono. Ah, ok, ajá. I have to do my income tax return. Creo que ando perdida, creo. 
creo. Yes, porque era una pregunta. Eh, eh, como los creo ejemplos que, que dimos en final. Miami. Sí. Ay, perdone, teacher, que ando algo, algo malita de la gripe y me estoy muriendo del sueño, pero, pero aquí estamos. Vaya, este... bendito, todos se me enfermaron de la gripe. Ah, mire, yo creo que ayer quizás tenemos que ponernos la mascarilla siempre. Porque. Ay, no. No, pienso que es el cambio de clima, igual. Ay. O posiblemente eh, el, que, sí, la, el clima que, también. Que, ajá, digamos que en mi caso, uh, no es enferma de gripe que ando, pero. Ah. Ando un horrible dolor de, de, de dientes. Ay, señores, eso es. Ya, yeah, man. Desde que la, las cordales, las cordales hay que quitar. En realidad, ya, yeah, eh, eh, pero eh, la cordal. Es posible que me, eso. De cordal me acaba de arruinar la muela que está a la par. Así que ah. me han dicho de que el lunes me van las a dos. hacer cirugía para sacarme las dos. Sí, le va a hacer bien, va a ser lo mejor. Ah. ¿Y cómo va a ser para las clases? No me pregunte porque ni yo sé ahorita. Ay, señor Jesús. Ni siquiera bueno, primero Dios que cómo... todo salga bien. Primero okay, Dios que todo ojalá, salga bien. primero Dios, porque ni siquiera sé cómo voy a hacer, porque eso es un horrible. Horrible. Bueno, ah, va, a hablar como, va a hablar como Janich. Va a hablar... Vamos a aprender hablar. el lenguaje de señas. Yo no, el lenguaje de señas, señas sí. Exacto. Exactly. All right, I'm going to read the last question. It's going to be uh, uh, la, la de Jorge. It says, when can you go to the movies again? Actually, that's a good, pretty good question, uh, Jorge. Thank you for your participation, okay? Right, let me see. We got one more. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. No, I think we've got them all. Good. Now, listen. Oh, because of the time we're going to go and work it in the pages that we got from the manual because it's really important for you guys just to develop, you know, and practice what you got in the manual. Give me one second. And I want everybody to go to this page, to go to page 13, all right? And check this out. In here. I'm going to read this for you. Voy a leer esto para ustedes para que más o menos comprendamos, ¿ok? A qué se refiere. ¿Ok? Porque de acá nos vamos a ir a trabajar en parejas, ¿ok? From here, with this information, we're going to work in pairs. And it's really necessary for you, you know, like to, to, to keep this on mind. In here, It says features of product. We got the, 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 the features, the characteristics. All right. And in here, we got the name of the products. All right. We got weight. Recuerdan que significa weight? De la clase anterior. Peso, teacher. What is it? Peso, peso. Ah, okay. Very good. Peso. Dimension. Dimension. Nice. Eh, quantity. Cal, eh, cantidad. Ah, okay. Perfect. Perfect. That's what you got. You got the word in here, for example, it says tablets. Okay. You got television and you got refrigerators. Okay. We understand this one. Let's take a look at the pictures of tablets. It says the weight of a tablet is 107 grams. This one is G means grams, okay? Grams. Dimension, 19.3 centimeters per 13.7 centimeters, all right? And it says per 103 centimeters. That's the dimension. And the quantity, it says 200 tablets. ¿Cuántas tablets son? Doscientas. Doscientas. Okay. Good. Good. 
now take a look at the information about the product pictures, uh, uh, the television. Wait. 112.43 pounds. Este símbolo como LBS, ustedes pueden decir A. Ah, pero ese símbolo es más que todo en español. No, también se puede utilizar en inglés. Así, LBS y significa pounds, libras. Okay. Dimension. Aquí son centímetros. Acá decimos 41.3 inches. Este IN significa inch. What is an inch? In that case, we're talking about pulgadas, right? Pulgadas. This is, como decir pulgada, right? Inches. Here it says 26.7 inches. Okay, and we've got quantity, 100. 100 television. Okay. okay, then we got refrigerator. In refrigerator, we got 340 pa uh, pounds, 340 libras, a 380 pounds, 380 libras. You got 48, uh, and this is 18. All right, one eight. So in that case, we're talking about the dimensions and the quantity. We have 50. 50. Good. What are you going to do with this information, people? Listen. Con esta información, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Si ven más abajo, hay una serie de preguntas. In question number one, it says, la pregunta uno dice, can one person store all the televisions oneself? ¿Puede una persona guardar todas las televisiones por sí solo? Tomando en cuenta que cada televisión pesa 112 libras y son 100. Vaya, entonces ustedes van a discutir eso. Ok, y les van a dar respuesta. Miren, acá le vamos a poner la respuesta. Recuerden, si es que en el principio de la pregunta, la respuesta es una yes, no answer. Si es una, un, usando where, acá es una information answer. Entonces vamos a dar información adicional. En este caso mencionando un lugar. Ok. All right, good. In the next page, en la siguiente página, nos vamos a ir específicamente al ejercicio 5. Ok. Aquí nada más explica la regla, algo que ya hicimos, un par de ejemplos, cosas que ya le dimos. Ahora acá. Si ven acá, solamente está la respuesta. Ustedes van a formular la pregunta, ¿ok? ¿Cómo así? Listen. Si yo en la número uno tengo que dice, you can store them in the back room. You can store them in the back room. ¿A quién nos estamos refiriendo con eso? Dice, ah, puedes guardarlos en el cuarto de atrás. ¿A qué creen ustedes que se está refiriendo con eso? A ah, productos. Se está preguntando que si a dónde puede guardarlo. Ah, ok. Very good. Very good. So in this case, you can put it like that. Look, in here. Podemos poner acá, por ejemplo. Tablet. Eh, 
Check this out. Where can I store the products? ¿Dónde puedo guardar los productos? Ah, dice acá la respuesta. You can store them in the back room. Ah, puedes guardarlos en el salón o en el cuarto de atrás, en el cuarto trasero. ¿Por qué uso where? Porque acá, de acá, en acá, estamos dando un lugar como respuesta. ¿Ok? Entonces, eso me da la pauta de que la pregunta va a iniciar con where. ¿Ok? Good. Esta es la forma entonces en cómo nosotros vamos a hacerlo. Acá en las respuestas, en algunas respuestas ya está lo que van a usar en la pregunta. Por ejemplo, acá estamos hablando de boxes, television, cars, okay, uh, form. Y acá pues no estaba hablando de en sí del producto, solamente decía them. Okay, por eso yo puse acá, yo soy libre de poner, por ejemplo, la palabra product. Ok, good. ¿Entendimos lo que vamos a hacer? Do you have any question? Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Give me one second. I'm going to start showing this one. Cool people. Ah, perfecto. Vamos a hacer lo mismo de ayer. ¿Podrían, por favor, encenderme la cámara de los que vamos a participar y los que estén trabajando o, o los que estén que no pueden encender la cámara, pero pueden participar? Por lo menos la manito, por favor, para saber y, y no ponerlos con alguien que no venga a trabajar. Please. Please. Ok, así mantengan, please. Necesito asignarlos, ok. Yo salí, usted va a participar, ¿cierto? Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, perfecto. Cool. Maria Elena, can you participate too? All right. Vamos a ver si ella puede participar también. Para mientras, open up the breakout rooms, people, and let's, let's go to work, okay?
Hola, teacher. Ay, no está supervisando el teacher. Ay, no, está, ay, no está supervisando el teacher, le digo a Gabriel. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ya con todos. La 14, ¿dónde está el carrito? Sí, sí. ¿Dónde está el montacargas? Solamente vamos a responder, ¿verdad? Eh, ver. Hay unas que son preguntas, dijo el teacher, las que tienen este signo de interrogación. Bueno, de hecho todas son preguntas. La vamos a formular. Sí, sí, sí. Así es, ¿verdad, teacher? No, oye, el teacher. Ay, en serio, espérame, espérame. Dígamelo. Así es, ¿verdad? De formular las preguntas. A ver, ¿de qué estamos hablando? De formular las preguntas, ¿ve? Ah, en la primera parte, en la, en la, en la, vaya, en la, en el ejercicio 5 de la página 14, sí, formular las preguntas. Y en la, el ejercicio 3 de la página 13 es dar la respuesta a partir de la tabla que vienen ahí. Ok. Ah, ok. Perfecto, teacher. Okay. Ah, primero es la 13, Saúl. Sí, ahorita se estaba viendo aquí. La página 13. Teacher. Ya. Yeah. Vaya, dijo usted que este eh, can on person story al uh, the television on el on search. Teníamos que responder yes on, vea. Yes on. Yes or no, we. Ajá. No sé si usted comprendía esta parte, Saúl. Es Saúl. Sí, eso está. Uh -huh. Bueno, empecemos entonces. Sí, es que esto solo es sí o no a responder uno, me imagino, ¿verdad, teacher? Si inicia con quién al principio es una just no answer. Si inicia con una WS word como what, what time, where, when, entonces sí, hay una información adicional. Okay. Uh -huh. No, que habla de... Este sería entonces no no can one person store no, one person store al de television on cell. Uh -huh. Sí sería el complemento. Sí sería. Uh -huh. Eh, ¿Y por qué no vamos a poner el cuarto de atrás? Es muy chiquito, son 50, tele, 50 refrigeradores. Qué grande. Sí, cada uno tiene una dimensión de 48. Ajá, por, la, por la medida. Sí. Entonces, ¿en dónde? En el, en el, eh, ¿Cómo? 
en la bodega. ¿Cómo se escribe bodega? Waterhouse. W-A-R. Sí, Fue la que vimos, ¿verdad? Waterhouse. Sí, porque en el cuarto de atrás, ¿no? se supone que en el cuarto es una habitación pequeña. Y son 50 refrigeradores. Entonces, así. Teacher, vamos bien. Ahora puedes tú guardar las tablas. ¿A dónde? En, uh, en Ajá. el estante. ¿En las tablas o ¿Las tablas a dónde dice? En el estante. Oh. Yes, I can start the table. Le decimos que así. Que son chiquitas, creo. Uh -huh. Así sería, ¿verdad? Oh, pero aquí ya sé que hay que... Y en la primera no tendría que hacerlo así también. La respuesta corta de uh -huh. Ok. Estamos así, ¿verdad? Sería yes, I can do it. Do it. Uh -huh. ¿Lo podemos poner así o lo podemos poner todo así o largo? Parece que ahí está viendo el teacher. Ajá. Ahí está el teacher. Vaya. <risa> Vaya, pues entonces este, queda así, ¿verdad? Okay. Y la otra parte. Es esa. Es esta, ¿verdad? Que aquí es de formular la... La, la pregunta, pregunta. Eh, dice no nosotros no podemos mover todas las televisiones bueno todos los televisores ¿Cómo sería? Bueno, la segunda, ¿cómo sería? Yes, she can. Tendríamos que ocupar el can. Can. can Ajá, pero can. Tiene, que ser un, tiene que ser una palabra de eh, when o where. Ah, pero, uh, yes, she can. She can sin the form. Uh, can she, she, she can? Can she sing the form, form, from, form? Sign the form. Y el signo, ajá, uh -huh. come on. ¿Qué sería? Can we? Ya regresó el bicho. Ya. 
Ya regresó el teacher. Yo creo que el teacher casi no oye. Hola. Vea que casi no oye, teacher. No, es que eso se me está dificultando bastante. A pesar que anda con su dolorcito de muela y está, dice, al pie del cañón. Claro, claro. Ah, bueno, teacher, mientras se pueda ver. Teacher, en esta, en la página 14, eh, ¿qué es lo que debemos de hacer? Las preguntas, esas son las respuestas. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. We can... decir mm -hmm. cuándo verdad No puede decir cuándo porque no dice ahí. No dice en algún lugar, sino que dice que sí lo puede firmar. No sé cuál es. Y ahí, teacher, se puede usar buen, ¿no, verdad? ¿Dónde? En la número dos, when she can, no. She can sign the form. Ajá, she can firm the form. Ajá, eso es lo que uh, queremos. No, form. porque eso, no, porque es una just no question. Entonces aquí solo iría. En ese caso el inicio sería can she. Can she. De ahí estaba trabada. Yes. Ahí mismo tienen el verbo que van a usar. Sí. Ah, sí quedaría. Ah, ok, good, good. Ahora en la tres. Entonces, teacher, cuando es negativa es que se usan. Es que ahí me he confundido cuando se usa what. What time, where, when, cuando which? no diga cuando no diga yes o cuando no diga no entonces, ah, no, no. entonces. por ejemplo en la número uno número cinco número cuatro ahí es donde va a incluir eh, las WS words Mm, okay. Bueno, entonces esta. I finish. You finish? Finalizamos. Okay, perfect. Very good. Okay. Nice. Solo necesito revisar algo otros más. Okay. And then we, we move on to the main class. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Porque las seis, quiero ver. 
La seis quedaría así, ¿verdad? Sí, porque tú lo Ajá. Mande. Yo, sé. Yo pienso Yo sé. que quedaría mejor con el que. La número seis. Sí. Ok. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, porque creo que le llamo más lógica con el que que con una WH question. Quedaría así, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Fíjate que ya lleva el question mark al final. Solo esas dos serían verdad, dicho. Correct. Ya. Yeah. Y vamos bien, o, o vamos Ajá, o sea, perdido. la contestamos bien. Tu o... opinión? Ajá. Más o menos, 50-50. Eh, mm, mm. 100%. Uh, <risa> Le sugiero revisen la número 4. Uh, what time? <sighs> They can. Ah, es que. Es que what time se refiere como a qué hora, pero. Tiene que ser cuando. Pienso. ¿Puedes? Recuerden que what time estamos, estamos pidiendo una hora, pero ahí no estamos eh, dando una Ajá. hora en la respuesta, sino, sino un, día. un día. Un día. Entonces aquí sería sería así. Exactly. Very good. Solo esa teacher. Yeah, I mean, only, only that one. Mm -hmm. Good job. Creo que la mayoría terminó, así que. Ajá. Ya nos vamos para casa. Algo así, algo así. All right. Let's go to the main section. Okay, vámonos a la sala principal. All right, so we're going to wait for the rest to get here. Give me one second.
Okay. Good. Let's check what you got in here, people. Listen. El número uno acá en este, en, al menos en esta zona se puede hacer de diferentes formas. Listen. Acá ustedes pueden desde he hasta colocar it también. Por ejemplo, podemos decir, can one person store all the televisions oneself? We can say, no. Ok. Aquí ustedes ponen, pueden poner he, pueden poner she, ok. Y luego can't, ok. If it is negative, remember, no, he, she, it, can't. Pongo estas tres porque si cualquiera de las tres tienen es correcto, ok. Y les quedaría más o menos así. Ok. Good. That's with number one. But what about number two? It says, where can you store 50 refrigerators? In this case, I want the help of... Uh, let me see if you... Jocelyn, what do you have in this one? You're selling. Perdón, teacher, no se me encendía el micrófono. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, I can store 50 refrigerators in the warehouse. I can store 50. You got it like this? Yes. Ah, ok, very good. Pues estamos hablando de un lugar. Muy bien. Puede ser in the warehouse. It can be in a, in a, a store. Ok, or whatever you want to put in there. Pero mientras pongamos, ok, un lugar, that's ok. Good. Roberto, help me out with number three. Uh, yes, I can store the tables on shelves. Tablets, actually. Yes, I can store the tablets on the shelves. Okay, very good. It was like this. ¿Qué significa shelves, people? En este caso, la palabra shelves, ¿qué sería? Esta palabra. Estantería, estante. Estante. Estantes, ok. Very good. That's what it is. Nice. That's related to the first exercise. Now, let's move to the next one. I'm going to clear up these drawings and let's go to the next one. To this one, okay? Good. Guadalupe, léame la pregunta uno que tenga acá, por favor. Guadalupe. Perdón, no había encendido el micrófono. Eh... Can you store them? No, es que esa no la hicimos. Ok. Pregúnteme otra. <risa> la dos. Ok, vaya, mire. Acá. 
sería así. Yes. Where can I store the products? Okay. Good. Help me out with number two, Guadalupe, as you said. Okay, la number two. Can she sing the form? Puede ella llenar el formulario, algo así. Yes. Puede she firmar, can. de hecho. Ah, firmar. Fine. Uh, yes, she can. She can sing the form. She can sign the form. Okay, very good. Sign. Thank you. Thank you. Aha, uh -huh. it signs. Good. Judith, registry number three. Okay. Can we move all the televisions? Okay. Can we move all the televisions? Okay, very good. You can put it like this. Acá pueden haber dos versiones de esta pregunta. ¿Cómo así? En cuanto al subject. Acá puede ser can we o también puede ser can you. Ok. Can you, pero ya dirigiéndose a, a, un, a más de una persona. Ok. If you have it one way like this, it's correct. Nice, let's continue. Mario, read number four. When can, when can they pile, pile up the boxes? They can pile up the boxes tomorrow. Can we? When can they pile up the boxes? When can they pay, pile up the boxes? Okay, they can pile up the boxes tomorrow. Excellent. This is the way you got it. All right, very good. Christina, read number five. Teacher, esa no la hicimos. Ah, you didn't do that one? Um, All right. La four. No sé si la puedo leer. ¿Cuál? La four, four. La cuatro. Four. Uh, Leala. Will you lead the, the boxing you're in the slab? When can you put? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Read it again, please. Repeat, teacher. All right. G give me one second. Um... Okay, uh -huh. repeat again, please. Will you leave the boxing jewel in this lab? Nice. Okay, let me see. Who else was participating in here? Gabriel? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you read number five, Gabriel? Okay, is could you leave the boxes in your place? Let me see. Like uh, this? La number, uh, la number four. Es que ahí, hasta ahí llegamos. Ah, you stayed until number four? Yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, all right, that's okay. It was pretty similar to so what she read to me, right? Okay. Aunque, aunque creo que, espérame. Sí, la, la quinta es la de los 90 carros, ¿verdad? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, where can I leave all the cars? Where? Give me, give me one second. Okay. Okay, give me one second. Okay. All right, you said where? Where can I live? All the cars. Okay. 
Like this. All the cars, yes. Where can I leave all the cars? Donde puedo dejar todos los cuatro? Uh, it, it makes sense. All right, it makes sense. It's a good question. Pero en este caso, vamos a hacerlo con los mismos verbos que tenemos ahí para no complicarnos tanto. ¿Cómo así? Ah, okay. Mire. Where can I, okay, where can I store? All right, listen up. Where can I store 90 cars? Like this. Oh, okay, okay, good. Oh, where can I store the night cars? All right, good. Let me see who's gonna else who can help me out with the other ones. Let me see, Jose. Room number six, Jose. What do you have in here? Está ahí, José. Sí. Es. Can you give information on the product? Can you give information of the product? Okay. In this case, listen. ¿Qué es lo único que le falta a esa pregunta, people? A esa pregunta le falta algo, una palabrita nada más. ¿Qué le falta? Me. Exactly. Me. Can you give me give information? Me. Give me. Exactly, right? Can you give me information about the product? Okay. Porque la respuesta dice, yes, I can give you information about the product. Okay. There you go. And this is the way how we got this series of questions, right? Okay, good. Listen, people. Escuchen esto. En algunos casos se me ha entendido equivocar un poco en cuanto a las just no questions e information questions. Recuerden que cuando llevamos can al principio de una pregunta, generalmente la respuesta va a ser yes o no, tal y como hemos estado practicando. Si en la pregunta tenemos where, la respuesta va a ser, eh, digamos, mencionando un lugar. Si en la pregunta la inicio con what time, estoy preguntando la hora. Si la pregunta la inicio con when, entonces estoy mencionando eh, o estoy pidiendo un día específico o una time expression que me pueda hablar sobre un futuro cercano. Ok, good. So en ese caso, eh, all right, I suggest you all right, to repeat the information and try to practice, ok? Good. Mañana igual eh, vamos a tratar de hacer un par de preguntas al principio para ver si más o menos ya, digamos, hemos tratado de, 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 de recordar este, este tema, ¿ok? Y luego vamos a pasar ya al siguiente tema que vamos a estar desarrollando, ¿ok? Good. Antes que nos vayamos, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta? ¿Any question with this? No. All right. So just give me one second. I'm going to pass the attendance list. Gabriel Esaú. Present. Gabriel. Mm, okay. He was there. Guadalupe Noemi. Present. 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 Uh, okay. I, I barely listen to you. Okay, but that's okay. Jorge Ismael. Jorge. 
Can you listen to me, Jorge? Espero que sí, Jorge, porque con usted me tocan los, los, el, el feedback esta noche. Right. ¿Me escucha? Yes, teacher. Te escucho que le contesta, teacher. Ah, ok. ¿Tiene problemas de audio, Jorge? ¿Tiene problemas de audio? Ok. Y ahora me toca el, 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 la retroalimentación con usted, Jorge. No sé si me escucha bien para poder eh, you know, like, quedarnos after class. Pero ya vamos a ver eso. Uh, José Moisés. José Moisés. Present. Ah, okay. Good. You're there. Uh, Judith Maribel? Present. Okay, good. Carla Ivania? Present teacher. Okay. Carla Lorena? Present teacher. Okay, good. Catherine Guadalupe? I mean, she's, she's busy. Kevin Ramiro? Present teacher. Okay, good. Maria Elena. All right, she's busy also. Marilyn Alejandra, she's sick. Maria Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Monica Maricela, she didn't participate. Oscar Armando. Mm, I think she left. I mean, he left. Patricia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Okay, Ruth Guadalupe, she's not here. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Jocelyn Stephanie. Present teacher. Ah, okay, cool. Jorge, are you there, Jorge? Yes teacher. yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Because I'm going to stay with you, okay? Thank you for getting connected, people. Let's see you tomorrow, okay, in uh, the video conference number four, all right? Good night, people. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Good night. I'm going to stay with you, Jorge. Good night. Good night, Jose. Good night, teacher. Okay, all right. So uh, in that case, yeah, we got, we got issues with the audio, right, Jorge? All right. Um, are you there, Jorge? Okay, so apparently he got problems with, uh, he's been having problems with uh, the microphone and uh, connectivity. So I, I barely listened to him, right? So the class, remember it was focused on the uses of can uh, when asking information questions and also asking about possibilities or providing a, you know, like in a case possibility about something. Okay, that was the main focus of this class using can. Remember, can is used for information questions mostly and possibilities when you ask just no questions. All right. So that's gonna be everything for tonight. So see you in an, another video conference. <laughs>